first video um, that's not related to fishing. So most of mine, I hope, eventually are going to be about fishing. But this one is about my new boat, new to me boat. It's a very old Cadillac boat, actually, not affiliated with the Cadillac Boat Company. Uh, as far as I know, it was built in the 50s. It's aluminum. It's almost a 16-footer. It's real wide. So I'm going to show you a little quick video of it and um, what I'm working on. I'm getting the hubs, um, bearings, and stuff like that redone. So here we go. All right. So here she is. I haven't named her yet, of course. But this stripe on the side that you see is what helped me find out what kind of boat it was. In addition, and once I actually bought it and registered it, you can see that this is all, this shape is riveted in. It's not just a paint job. And the only boats I could see this on were these old Cadillac boats, which were really only in business, not even 10 years and bought out by Wagemaker and some other companies down the road. But you can kind of see... I believe this may be the original trailer. If not, someone matched up the paint real nice with the actual trailer and the boat. Got to do a little work on the transom, not a lot. It's um, been redone a little bit, but I'm going to kind of make it a little more waterproof. You can kind of see where nothing was treated with the wood. So I'll probably be doing that. And this is basically, it's really wide. It's about 5'8 wide. So it's a nice wide boat. Um, guy a while back evidently put aluminum decking on it a few screws he used that weren't you know stainless or something so that they wouldn't rust so I got to change out some of those but he did an aluminum decking underneath the square tubing this nice wide boat um, and also the bow to me is probably the coolest part to it those old Cadillac boats actually had steering columns or steering wheels right here under the bow uh, this one doesn't have that i'll be putting in a console probably in a year maybe i'm not sure how long it'll take me but um but from the front it's got a really cool shape to it really like the the way this is shaped and how it hopefully will run in the water really well so that's kind of a quick walk around now i'm going to take you to the bearings which are shot So, this is my first time ever working on bearings um, on a trailer or anything, and you can kind of see in here, I'm about to pull them out, but after I got the cover off, started pulling the washer part out, and well, I don't even know if there is a washer, this may be connected, this may be the actual bearing, you can actually even see the bearings are actually just, they're not even in there, it's not even a case around them now, and I don't know if they used to be done like that. But that's the front, so they're completely shot. I knew something was wrong with them when I started driving off. Uh, fortunately, I was able to get back to the house and um, without any trouble, other than a little low tire that I got fixed. Um, the mechanic took care of for me. Phoenix Auto, a little shout out in Nashville. If y'all need some work done, I trust them with all my vehicles. They're the best. So um, check in with them if you need some work done. But um, bearings, I'm gonna have to go get. These are just falling apart. I don't know about the other side, but find out eventually if the other side is just as bad. But really excited about this boat. Um, really hope that I um, can get out, get my son fishing with me in the boat. He's kind of slacked off a little with wanting to do the fishing thing. Everybody knows he's got a 12-year-old, you know, video game. So I'm trying to get him out of that. But it already has three seats with it too, which I won't need that many. But um really excited about this so I'll hopefully I'll post some updates see y'all so a quick update finally got both sides off all the bearings the back the rear bearing on this one was stuck to the very back right back there and it took I don't know it must take me a half hour or more just to get that one thing off I was afraid that it was sealed on there somehow and gotten too hot or something and melted on but finally got it off got the washer off so getting ready to grease everything put the hose back on we'll see what happens so here's what I got 
at um, Harbor Freight Ultra Tow Hub Replacement. Um, supposed to be the right size, one inch diameter. Um, hopefully it's the right one. We'll find out when I put them on. There's my hubs. I'm going to both off. Got to grease them and see what happens. I'll keep you updated. So, I saw something online about cleaning diamond plate aluminum without going through a huge buffing process and multiple pads and all that. So I'm just going to give it a try just to see if I can get it clean. Not really trying to, you know, get it back to factory shine, at least not yet. So I'm going to try this, um, basically, um, lemon juice, some baking soda, and just um, a little scrubbing and not a whole lot of elbow grease, supposedly. I'm mostly concerned about all this rust right here. I don't know if the baking soda will get that out or not, but we're going to give it a try. So here we go. Hopefully this will show up as good as it shows up as I'm looking at it. I'm trying to get the right angle on it so you can kind of see. <clears throat> but I'm trying to get this diamond plate clean, a diamond plate aluminum. And started off with some Neverdull, the Eagle One Neverdull. And I started cleaning it and it was taking just forever. It was killing me. I was just trying to rub it with the little things you pull out of the inside of it and um, it's taking forever so I went with um, some mirror glaze from Meguiar's and that didn't really do anything and I was trying to use my big kind of polisher and it didn't really do a lot so then um, <clears throat> started with the um, figuring out something as I went down and kind of see it's a little different although I got some shade on here that's not helping out but then when I get down to here, there's your big difference. A little bit more dull, not too bad, a little dull. But then here, really, really clean. Not necessarily mirror finish, but this may be good enough for me. I mean, it's a really nice look. It's a really clean kind of look. And um, what I did, Harbor Freight, again, I know everybody, some people don't like them, some people do, but I got some of the brown compound, this, in the stick. It's like five bucks for a stick um, of the polishing compound, and um, it's only like a quarter pound of it. So this is basically the container it came in, $4.99 for that. Use a little bit of that. But you know, when I was coming down through here at the beginning, after I started the process, and it was doing pretty good. A couple of spots or some, I don't know if this is pitting or what that is. I may never get that out unless I sand it, which I'm not planning on doing. But then as it came down here, I started using the Never Doll again. And I left it on wet after I rubbed through with the Never Doll. And then I just came back over it with... As I was polishing earlier, I was using this green, and I don't even remember what they're called. Um, I'll get back with you on that. But these pads, this I think is a, um, I don't know, I can't remember the, the grit basically on this. But this is done pretty good with the rest of it. But then when I left the Neverdoll on here wet, and then went over it with this, this is what it came out and it really cleaned it well uh, I'm assuming because of some of the I don't know I think there's some petroleum product of some sort in here and I guess that combination really helped I saw somebody online that did this with aluminum and they were using WD-40 spraying it on there but using wet sanding process going from like I think a, a 220 grit all the way up to like a thousand or three thousand which I didn't know they made but this has really turned out nice and you can kind of see the big difference this is here and then that's the old side where it has like just no shine there's some rust here I'm hoping I can get out with this pad and then this side is you know it's real dull compared to this so I think this is my process I'm going to go through um, 
and we'll see how long it takes me to do one panel it didn't take long just to do these little spots and now that i think i figured it out i've already cleaned it first i cleaned it first with um, some lemon juice and i tried using baking powder or baking soda but that just didn't really work it did clean it um, i guess because of the acidity but i couldn't get any kind of polish of course but it cleaned off pretty good and some things are just going to have to be scrubbed so here we go i'm going to give it a shot and go further so basically started off with a finish like this some rust very dull and now to this which is huge improvement you can kind of see the difference just side by side here